Um, I know a bit about it. So it's essentially a it's what Gibson do with their. Uh, They've bought in Kirk's actual guitar and done that whole sonic scaping where they find the density of the mahogany and match the mahogany density and age to his guitar. And obviously they've completely matched up to scratches and things like that. And it's V-shaped, um, it's got strings. I know that. I'm really good at my job. Do you want to say who you are? Well, uh, yeah, my name's Ollie. You, you may you may recognise me from Second Handertons if you check oh, us I out. I recognise uh, your voice as look. Well. Here we have a professional tuning by ear. Should we plug it in? You should plug it in. This is Andertons where you can plug in, well, very expensive uh, gift supply and bees. We might if, well. if you ask nicely, which of course Mr. Rob Chapman did ask me nicely. Yeah. Because he's a really nice, polite guy. Thank you very much. Should we put it in the boogie? <sighs> might I put it in the I boogie? Mean, we might as well put it in the boogie. Might as well put it in the boogie because we've got oh, access to it. Good. We're going, mate. It does sound authentically Kurt Kamet Metallica. <laughs> Kirk Lips. He certainly can't. Spot the missing wars. Just wondering how many Metallica licks I can get away with without uh, having the video removed from YouTube. <laughs> So this is only worth nine grand. Absolute bargain. A bargain at twice the price. <laughs> it's good though, man. It should be. Why did he put this here, do you know? Um, so that he could do kick flips on it. Are you serious? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you meant like a stage move where he, he, would, he would near over. Is it so it went? I just thought it was skateboard it grip tapey. Maybe so that, yeah. It's legit and it sounds great and it feels really cool. I recommend you try it out. Yeah, it's really expensive, but it really feels like you've just taken Kirk's guitar from him. And as a Metallica fan, I fully approve. <laughs> since I played Talica riffs, but this kind of brings it all back. This is technically the Gibson Custom Shop Murphy Lab Collection, Kirk Hammett 1979 Flying V in Ebony. It's going for 9K. It's got all of the bells, whistles, and everything else that Kirk had on his original guitar. It's beautiful. And if I had the cash, would I get it? I know it's probably a bit of a controversial guitar, because, you know, it's a lot of money and it's a Gibbo V. But if you're a Talica fan, why wouldn't you get that? If you, if you could afford it, if it wasn't an issue financially, why wouldn't you get it? This is the Ride the Lightning. This is the machine, isn't it? It this is, is the, the machine. machine that made them famous. This is back when Kirk could play. Before, <laughs> before some kind of Listen, monster. Man. Kirk can still play. He can still play. I love you, Kirk. He needs a, bit of, needs a bit of time on the... Hey, I've watched too many documentaries. If you are watching... You're doing very Mate, well. I need time. Advice. I need time. Do you remember uh, all the old Metallica 
videos they used to be when they're like walking into shops and getting beers all dressed in black stuff and like black bandanas and black wristbands and all that kind of shit. Flip it over so I can show them the tape. Have a look at the tape. Oh yeah, bro. Look at all that tape. I wonder if it comes with the roll of the tape as well. well I, better, uh, I better go and do some work. Nah. Rather than uh, nah. playing guitars in the shop. I shouldn't be doing that anymore. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you later, guys. Bye.